Okay, it's that time of the week where we're gonna study some ball. Nothing I like more than getting into the film room and studying more in depth some of the stuff we've been talking about. So last couple weeks has been about the 10 zone approach and this idea of recognizing defenses, recognizing where they're going, where they're leaving voids, and how my play can attack those different voids. And so today we're gonna to look at one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, Russell Wilson, but he does a tremendous job of being able to recognize the weaknesses of a defense, understanding what zones they're supposed to cover, but how they might be delayed in covering those zones or where he can create opportunities by moving different guys and getting the ball out of his hands quickly. So let's take a look at Cincinnati's doing a lot of different things. They're given a nice little disguise here, but when the ball snapped, we're gonna have a one, two, three deep look with a one, two, three, four, under look, they're gonna bring pressure off the side. So there's a lot of stuff that's going on here. But in essence, that guy's gotta move a lot to get back to his spot. This guy's making it look like he's more in the middle and he's got to move to get to his spot and he's just gonna drop. So we talked about attacking movement, right? The more we can make a defense move, the better chance we have. By the same token, pressure here, gonna force this guy to have to cover a little bit more ground. We're in a cloud look over here, so he's already in a position to cover his flat. Okay, we're gonna have hard movement over here. He's gotta cover the flat outside the number, so he's gotta move hard. And then recognize this backer right here. He's showing a pressure look, so he's stepping up into the line. And then his job is to fall back into that hook seam area right here. As we run the snap, you'll notice Russell Wilson has a seam throw right here. Okay, cover three. That's one of the areas we love to attack is that seam area. But normally it gets hard because if the ball's in that position, right, you normally have a linebacker sitting right here. Number 36, in this case, a safety, looks like he's holding in that spot, so you're not gonna get that quick throw. But as the ball snapped, he takes off and runs. This backer, as we said, steps up here, so he is late getting to his responsibility and playing that hook area. Russell Wilson recognizes it. Watch how quick he is. Recognizes the void, bang, put your back foot in the ground. Understand there is a void right here and he is going to split those defenders by recognizing, hey, yes, it's three deep, it's four under, but it's more about movement and where they're leaving voids so I can attack them with the play that I have called does a great job of recognizing that right there, putting the ball right on his receiver to protect him with the throw. All right, let's move to another one. Now we've got the Steelers, okay? As we go to look at this, you're gonna recognize once again, we got the safeties dropping back. This, what we would call a three double cloud look, okay? So it's gonna be three deep once again, corners clouding on both sides. We got two hook defenders on the inside, right? So we're, we're seeing that we've got three deep, four under, these guys are playing a little bit wider in their hook because even though this safety's deep, they want him to kind of cheat up and take anything that goes to the middle. So they're feeding that free safety with the, with, with the ball or feeding it with certain receivers that go there. But you'll notice once again, Russell Wilson understands, man, this guy is way deep. If he's going to cover the middle of the field, man, he better move a lot faster than this. These hook defenders already have width, right? Because they're expecting some sort of help to the inside, but because the inside backers are fast to go, because the free safety is slow to come down, once again, they void the inside zone, right? They, they void the short middle of the field. Russell Wilson recognizes the void. He's understanding the 10 zones, where they can cover, where they can't where they are moving to and where they leave a void because they're not moving fast enough, sticks his foot in the ground once again, bang, puts the ball right on his receiver, protects him with a body shot so he's not exposed to that free safety even though he does take a hit, but he's attacking the void. He's recognizing the coverages and attacking where they're weak. 